So if you're new to Fusion 360 and you want to create more clean, efficient designs, there's a cool secret I want to teach you today, and it has to do with profiles, where you can reuse sketches, but also it can help you understand when sketches are broken, and it'll help you save some time. So let's get started. How do I make sure that the Fusion profile is turned on? So in Sketch Palette, you want to make sure that this toggle is checked on. Let's try it real quick with a few lines. You'll notice that the profile is enabled. When I drag this over, a light blue pops up. With it turned off, it's going to not show you your closed profiles. If you don't know the difference between open and closed profiles, this might lead you to struggle to understand why your revolves and extrudes aren't solving. Closed profiles like this one are the key for solid features to extrude. Now I can extrude this because it has a closed profile. This will help you save some time with errors. Can I use multiple profiles in one sketch? So using multiple profiles in one sketch, you can perform several operations like multiple extrusions. Let's look at it here. So when I hit extrude, I want to extrude all the interior components of this solid rectangle. I'll drag it up a distance and create that. Now, going back to the sketch, turning on visibility, I can then hit extrude and I'm gonna create some feet here that go down. So I can extrude these separately from the same sketch. How do I know if there's like a gap or a problem with my profile? When you're unsure why a certain extrude won't work, this can be very helpful. When I'm here sketching and I think that I've gotten this connected and I didn't, even though it looks like kind of at first glance that they're connected, the fact that the profile is enabled and it's showing me that it's not going to work. This is really similar to the line technique that I've shown in other videos where the profile is not solving. If I sketch a line across it, the right side is working, it's correct. The left side is missing or has a gap somewhere. So if I continue to drag this line, it should show me where the problem is. So it looks like there's a problem up in this upper left corner. I come in and fix those points and now everything should work. What if I don't want to use all the lines and everything in my sketch, but I want to keep them in as a reference? Sometimes you want to create all these shapes and multiple profiles in one sketch, but you don't want these. Simply select them, use X on the keyboard or right click and do construction. These will no longer be extruded or included in the extrude, but they can be there as a reference for you for your layout or skeleton sketch. Can I use open profiles? Absolutely. So we've been talking a lot about how to close profiles off but if you do hit extrude in fusion 360 come over to the thin extrude command this will allow you to sketch a chain of entities with a thickness applied to one side of the line by default you can also come over to the wall location and set that it's on the other side or on both sides centered you can play with the the thickness of the extrusion to the line and of course the depth can be adjusted with the extent distance here but what happens when i select the wrong profiles for the extrusion so here in this sketch where we have multiple overlapping profiles when i hit extrude i have some options i can uh, right select and drag it will grab everything it's selected all eight profiles you can always change your mind with the x here and then come in and select one by one if you need to just remove one from the selection you know holding shift will reselect it and remove it uh, you can do shift and so you know add these but if you select it again it's going to remove it but just remember you can always uh, reset this toggle here and then reselect what you want and hey if you'd like to get a daily fusion 360 tip delivered to you by email sign up down below